Hey, Ming Tsai here with Simply Ming. I'm gonna show you a great food process here by Breville and everything it can do. One is to make a fantastic shrimp toast. So simple. You need shrimp, duh, right? Good shrimp. And also don't get huge shrimp. Why spend money on big U15s? Get the smaller ones. Why? Because I'm gonna puree this. Gonna add a couple eggs, like that. And then kind of let the machine do the work. Got to season it just a touch, right? So salt and pepper. Straight in. One thing I like about this food process is it's large, right? A lot of capacity, a little bit of salt, right? Just line it up and twist and puree this. I'm going to puree this pretty smooth. And because this is a fried dish, I don't really need any fat in here because it's going to go into the fryer. So nice and smooth. 30 seconds max. Uh, look at that. So now we have a great shrimp mousse. Looks like this. Then we're going to add some other great flavors to this mousse because I like texture and crunch. When my mom used to make this, she would use fresh water chestnuts, which are awesome. Hard to get sometimes fresh water chestnuts. So another great substitute for that is actually jicama. Jicama is fantastic root vegetable, has really good crunch to it. And we're gonna mix this in. And then this will actually go on the shrimp toast. And gotta have a little scallion. So just some freshly sliced scallions as well. All right, pretty simple so far, right? But look how great and smooth this puree is. Love it. Then thin, thin bread. Crust on, which is fine, because I'm gonna eventually, when we come out, this is what my dad likes, he likes to take off the bungs, as it's called, which is the, the side crust. The key here is this has to be even, and if any part, the middle can be a little bit thinner. All right, I'm gonna make a few of these. Spread it out. So if you're doing a party, you can have the mousse all made in your fridge. I don't recommend spreading it on, the, on your bread beforehand, because it could get a little too moist. All right, I'm gonna do one more, because I'm hungry. So let's do three. Scallops work, salmon works. It doesn't have to be shrimp if you don't like to eat shrimp. And if you're feeling extra rich, lobster definitely works, all right? Untoasted sesame seeds on top, like that, on the toast, and we're in business. All right, so put these shrimp side down. Be gentle, right? You don't want it to splatter. Nice big fryer here. You lay these in. And they're gonna take probably about, I don't know, three minutes. Two minutes, I'm gonna flip it once. Because you wanna obviously cook the shrimp all the way through and there's egg in it. But more importantly, you want this to get nice and crisp. All right, so in about two minutes, we're gonna give it a little flip. All right, so in two minutes, you see how it kind of gets nice and brown on that side? I flip it over. Oh, look at those. Just to make sure the bread is nice and crispy. Oh, oh my mom would be proud of me. Love shrimp toast. It's a great cocktail party dish. And this fryer from Breville is so nice to have because it just maintains the temperature. When you have fryer on a stove, you got to go up and down. You don't know. So now you just drain this. This, of course, has its own basket. And I like this because you can actually put these vertically so it can really drain well. All right. One trick we do in the kitchen, hit it. All right. Lay it down like this. These you have to serve hot, right? There's no substitute for when you're serving something out of a fryer. Just a little bit like french fries. You want a little bit of salt. Then you're going to cut these up. and take off the edges. You can eat these, right? These are nice Scooby snacks. And then slice it that way, right? So if you're having a party, holiday, just friends over, even football games, I don't know anyone that doesn't like shrimp toast. Unless, of course, you don't eat shrimp. But this can even work with dark chicken. You can make chicken toast. All right, look at that. And one for me. Let's give it a try. Look how beautiful that is. Mm.
crispy, delicious, simple. As always, peace and good eating. Simply Ming is brought to you by... Presenting the Breville Smart Oven. It has heating elements that adjust to what you're cooking. The Breville Smart Oven. Learn more at brevilleusa.com. Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.